Hello, um, just before I share this great video of a uh, really magical experience that happened a few weeks ago, I just thought it was important to add a bit of context to the footage and give you a bit of background to my approach and what was going through my mind. As photographers, especially when you're working on personal work and personal endeavours, it can be really tricky to get the right line between determination and, and sticking to your goals and having the flexibility to change what you initially were going for. Uh, and it's very hard to see that line and it's hard to know which is the right decision. And I think I got it right in this case, but I thought it'd be good to uh, share a bit of insight to the thought process and then my approach to it anyway. So anyone who knows me knows that I've been spending as much time as I possibly can documenting the habitats, the wildlife and the nature around this area of land on the edge of our village that's due for 500 new homes being built on. So I've been frantically trying to get as much photos as I can in the limited time that I have. And it was one of these days where I went out and did this and I was, in my mind, I'd set out, I'm very keen on the curlews, as also people know, and there was some breeding behavior being displayed around around there so I wanted to go out and I was sort of you know even though lots of stuff happening on the moors and down by the rivers otter sightings and stuff like that I sort of stuck to my guns and, and went out and and it's while I went went out there I then came across a tree creeper nest and um, and found myself getting drawn into that and then torn between that do I carry on with the curlews or do I stick with these tree creepers and I, in the end I, I decided to stick with the tree creepers and, and it was the right decision because I had the most rewarding experience and it was fantastic to see this uh, nest of um, tree creepers that ended up fledging as well and resulted in some really special footage and really memorable experience and before I share that with you the other thing that I, I think is really important is to share my ethical approach if you like uh, because it's something that's important to a lot of people and I think it's something that everyone should be aware of. I'm not someone who preaches and, and judges. Everyone has their own line that they have to draw from their own experiences and from the experiences of other people. But for me it really is the most important thing to make sure that my behaviour doesn't impact on the natural behavior that I'm looking at. And so the way I do this is I start off at a, a, a very good distance and make sure that my presence there isn't doing one of two things. One, it sort of impacting on the behavior of the birds in the nest and the parent birds. So making sure that they're still coming in to feed as regularly as they were, they're not hesitating. Uh, they're not looking at me and they're not showing signs of distress or alarm. The other thing that you need to make sure that you don't do is that you draw attention to a nest, to a predator that might be in the area. So so those are the key things. So I keep my distance and, and make sure that my presence isn't impacting on, on that. And when you do that, that's when you get rewarded with some really fantastic experiences photo opportunities and filming opportunities as well and, and, and that's exactly what happened here. So that's a little bit of the background for you. Uh, I hope it wasn't too boring to listen to but I hope it was insightful and gives you a bit of background to the footage that I'm about to show you.